Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan. And I'm Sierra. For this week's video, Megan and I are doing something a little bit different. Um, some of you guys have asked for like a morning routine. I feel like Megan and I do not have no, we don't. a very set, productive morning routine. I just and wake honestly, up, sit in bed until I'm like, I have to start getting ready right now. Filming in the morning is like the last thing I ever want to do. So that's why most of our vlogs like start like, oh, we're leaving. Yeah. Because I'm just like out of bed barely like getting by trying to like make it through the morning um but we have seen not necessarily people doing this billionaire's morning routine but we've seen people doing a lot of like early morning 5 a.m productive morning routines and that's kind of in essence what this is but it's a video i don't know if it's someone's specific morning routine sierra was someone that well, found like, it. i when i was doing like research for like this type of video because i wanted to do some sort of like morning routine video um and this, like billion like, dollar billionaires yeah uh, like successful people morning thing. routine um, so it was like billion dollar morning routine. I've seen a couple people do this same routine. And so I was like, okay, let's try it out. It has like a pretty set list of things to do. And I was like, let's see if it works for us. So we're going to be doing it on two different days just because since we have to record everything, passing the camera back and forth is going to make it difficult. And I feel like you wouldn't be able to like fully immerse yourself mm -hmm. in the morning routine. So Sierra's gonna do it one day and then I'm going to do it another day and then I'll just kind of like splice our experiences together. Before we get started with today's video, we want to thank our sponsor, which is Skillshare. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes so you guys can explore your creativity. Some of the categories we think you guys would enjoy would be graphic design, lifestyle, and productivity. So Sierra and I just recently took the class called Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less by Greg McEwen. I like this class because I feel like when you get into this like productivity culture, you have to be a little bit careful with what kind of content you're consuming because a lot of times it's just like do more of everything and if you're mm -hmm. not doing enough then like that's your fault and this class talked a lot more about essentialism versus productivity and so it was talking about make sure you're prioritizing things in your life and you're saying this is something that's important to me I need to make time to do that I need to do less of what's not important to me and so I thought that that was like a good healthy way to approach this yeah that's also what I liked about it I am like a person who loves to-do lists so I have like a ton of things like on my to-do list every day but I like that he talked about like prioritizing what is on your to-do list to make sure you get like the most important things done because I know it can feel like really good to have like the simplest things checked off but that's not always the most important so just kind of reprioritizing what I have to do. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning meaning there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It's also less than $10 a month with an annual membership. The first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now, wish us lunch for these early morning routines. <laughs> Four in the morning and I'm going to try and get started with this billion dollar morning routine. Good morning guys. It's 5.30. First up on the to-do list is wake up. So I did that. And then now I'm supposed to recollect my memories. I'm not entirely sure what the point of this is. I also feel like I've woken up a lot tonight. Like I've woken up quite a bit in the past like four hours. So I don't even know if I have any memories that I can remember, but I'm gonna try. I think you're supposed to just like lay back down, close your eyes, hopefully not fall back asleep. And I don't know, maybe you're supposed to like learn something from what you're dreaming about. So let's see. I will just try and do it for like three minutes. The only thing that I can remember is like, it was like a dream that I had that I woke up to like get ready for this video. Cause I can like remember dreaming about like setting up the camera and get, getting different shots. But I know it was a dream cause I had my um, lap desk on my bed, which I, I obviously don't right now. So that was a dream. I don't really know what there is to learn from that. But <laughs> All right, let's get up and actually make my bed. Okay, next up it says to drink a tall glass of water, which is not going to be good because water in the morning to me does not taste good. I'm gonna do that and then follow that up with 20 minutes of meditation. I think at first I was going to get like the Headspace app, but Sierra mentioned that she just used a YouTube video. So I think that I will just follow a YouTube video. So I just poured myself a tall glass of water. I'm supposed to drink this whole thing. And you could take like supplements or probiotics at this point, but I don't have any of that, so just drinking some water. This sounds like the last thing I want to do in the morning because I don't drink 
that much water in the first place. And right in the morning, it's just not very appetizing, but it will be good for me. So I guess I'm just gonna drink this and maybe go on TikTok. It doesn't get anything to do while I drink the water. So cheers. This is not my favorite taste of the morning. I'm done with that. All right, water is done. And honestly, that was disgusting. Okay, next, 20 minutes of meditation. I think that's gonna literally take forever. Or it's just gonna feel like it's gonna take forever. So I think I'm gonna find some sort of guided meditation on YouTube that will walk me through because I don't know how to meditate on my own. All right, for no particular reason, I'm going to go ahead and do this one for building positive internal energy, 20 minute guided meditation and complete breath. Oh wait, is it on double speed right now? Yes. It would have been 10 minutes and I would have been letting go, what? Okay, I've got it on normal speed now. Thank you for choosing me as your guide today. Whether this is your first time with me or you visit this channel as part of your regular routine, I just finished doing the guided meditation. It was an okay thing. I kind of like kept having my mind wander off. Luckily I didn't fall asleep, but a couple of times there I was kind of like, make sure you don't fall asleep because then I would be like, not thinking that I'd be like, oh my God, I almost fell asleep, I think so. So I just finished up the guided meditation and I actually liked it more than I thought I would. I just kind of ended up laying down, closing my eyes and it was like a breathing focused meditation and I actually did not get tired. I thought I was going to and like fall asleep and be like, whoops. Anyways, next the thing is move your body for two minutes. So this says like you can do two minutes of crunches, but I'm pretty sure you can just do like two minutes of anything, but it's supposed to be like kind of intense activity just to like get going. So two minute timer. All right. I'm just gonna do the big jokes, high knees. can be a long time if you're just doing jumping jacks. Okay, up next it says to take a cold shower and get ready for the day. I am going to put a swimsuit on just because obviously I'm recording this. I'm literally probably going to just like jump in the shower and get right back out because I cannot handle the cold. All right, I know I said that drinking the tall glass of water was something that I wasn't looking forward to, but this has to be the thing that I'm least looking forward to. I'm supposed to take a cold shower I never do that. I'm like a big like hot shower person. So I'm definitely just going to use this as like a jump in. My hair's gonna be up, I'm not washing it or anything. And hopefully I can stay in for like at least a minute, but I will not be in there for long. All right, let's turn my shower on, I guess. Ugh. Like, I just feel warm because my body's like, ah, like room temperature <laughs> feels great. Okay, so I'm going to start getting ready. Notice how I'm in my giant comfy robe now. I'm nice and warm again. So, um, I am going to be working out a little bit later this morning. So, I'm just gonna get ready to do that, you know, put some workout clothes on, brush my hair. Um, I would brush my teeth, but I'm gonna have this has to like drink a smoothie later when I'm doing my reading. So, I'm not going to be doing that. This robe truly feels incredible right now. All right, time to get changed into my workout outfit. All right, last couple things I'm gonna do to finish getting ready. I'm gonna put on my deodorant and my moisturizer. It's 6.22 by the way, so this routine kind of takes a long time. All right, up next on the to-do list for this morning is to journal and then write three different lists. So there's a to-do list, a to-feel list, and a to-be list. So I'm gonna start with journaling. Fun fact, actually, the reason I have this journal is because it's from Justice, 
and I've had it since 2010. I've been far from consistent. That's why like 10 years worth has fit into like this one singular journal, but it's almost totally filled up. So it's been a couple months since I've written in it last. So I'm going to journal in here. Actually, there's literally only one page left. So I'm going to journal right here and then I'm going to use this notebook to do my list. All right, ignore my awful handwriting. That's just how it is. So I think you're only supposed to do like two or three things per list. So that's what I've got. Uh, my to-do list might be kind of lame, but I have workout, which I already know I'm going to do. And then study neuro. There's um, one set of slides that I would like to get through today to stay on track, to feel. I want to feel satisfied and energetic and to be kind and thoughtful. So I think that writing this at the start of the day is just supposed to help you like be mindful of what you're doing throughout the day to accomplish these things. I don't know if it'll help, but I'll try. I did indeed find a journal. This is what it is. We got it um, when I went to the Olympic Media Summit in like 2016. I know I probably have at least like some stuff right in here. Let's see what I usually date these. Last time I wrote in this was 2017. April 2017. We have like three days in April and that's all I have in here. All right, the last part of this morning routine is to read for 30 minutes and drink a smoothie. But Meg and I have a workout time scheduled for right now, so I'm going to go work out and I'm going to finish that when I get back. Now the last thing is reading for a half hour, so this should take me right to seven o'clock. Which is, again, it's a long morning routine. Um, I'm gonna drink my smoothie. This is just a strawberry banana smoothie. That was pre-made and then Sierra read this book so I'm going to borrow it. Okay so up last on the morning to-do list is to read for half hour. I'm gonna be totally honest I don't know if I'll be able to read for half hour because I do have to go to class so I'm still reading The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. I've been slacking so I'm gonna read this, drink my smoothie, and that'll be the end of my morning. <laughs> Alright I finished reading, finished my smoothie, and now it's time to actually get started with the day, which is honestly pretty good timing because my day is actually like starting right now. I have to leave soon. I just finished doing my reading. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down below. I have to wrap this up quick just because again, my camera's gonna run out of space. Overall, I had a nice morning, but I kind of feel like a lot of it was just like unnecessary stuff to add on. Like I just don't know if I would do an hour and a half morning routine every day, but I think that the mindfulness was good and like not being in a hurry was nice. So those are my overall thoughts and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.